Minecraft 1.21.10 has just released and Worst Client is already available which is fantastic and so I'm going to be showing you exactly how to get it. So you want to head over to Worst Client's official website which is worstclient.net and it'll be linked right down in the description below. Here we can click on download worst then I mean, just take all my data, bro. Then click on Worst for Minecraft 1.21.10. Select the latest version, preferably here, although right now there's only one because it just released, so I'll just select that one. You want to scroll down until we find for Minecraft 1.21.10 plus fabric. Perfect. Here we can click on the gray button and that is automatically going to download Worst Client for us. And we can also click on this white button to download the Fabric API, which we also need. So it's important that you click on both. Now to use Worst Client, you do need to make sure that you have a Fabric installed for Minecraft 1.21.10. If you don't have that yet or you're not sure where to get it, then I will link it right down in the description below. Anyways, for right now, I've got Worst Client as well as the Fabric API in my downloads. And if you do too, then we can go ahead and place these in the Mods folder. To get there, press on Windows and R at the same time and type in App Data like so. Then go into the folder called Roaming.Minecraft and finally Mods over here. Simply drag in uh, both of these files and once we've done that we can open up the minecraft launcher and launch fabric for minecraft 1.21.10 and here we have it for right now i'll just head into a random single player world and show you guys how to use this so here we am inside of minecraft with worst client and i'll show you how to get started using it in a second however if you do want a full in-depth usage tutorial then I have actually made that already as well and I'll link it right down in the description below. Also uh, I guess a quick PSA or something, I'm back to my normal setup so my mic should sound a little less chopped than it has for the past like week or so which is a dub and um, also yes the version numbering is getting very confusing with 1.21 being something like the eternal version like is 1.21.1 and .10 really different? I mean, that's not how decimals work, but I guess it is how Minecraft works, and so uh, I'm confused as well, just like you guys. Anyways, um, to get started using Worst Client, we can press on the right shift button on our keyboard, and that is going to go ahead and open up the click GUI area over here. This contains all of the utilities that Worst Client has to offer. We can click on them to turn them on, click on them once again to turn them off, hover above them for a description. As you can see, we can actually click on these arrows here for these customization menus, which is quite neat, and it'll also tell you something more about the actual utility itself. So that's like 80% of the client, guys. Good luck. Um, yeah, it's that easy. It's quite simple to use. Anyways, we can actually scroll down as well, and you'll notice that the sorting restarts again, but then all these utilities prefixed with a dot. If they are prefixed with a dot, that means they're actually commands that you can use in chat. For an example, the dot help command is going to list, well, the first of many pages of commands that Worst Client offers. Now, if you want to figure out exactly how to use these commands, simply go into the Click GUI area, view these customization menus, and then you can even set a keybind to it, but you can also just view the syntax of exactly how to use the command together with a description of what it does, which is quite useful. And that's like another 10%, all of the commands, bam. Then finally you'll notice that the sorting starts once again. These are some more general utilities about the client. As you can see, you can for example disable worst here or you can manage some of the HUD elements like the tab GUI which I recommend that you check out as well as the worst client logo over here. You can actually turn this off if you like as well in this section. And finally, if you go into the pause menu over here, you can find this worst options button, which allows you to view the keybind, x-ray, as well as zoom managers, which are all incredibly useful, together with some other general links and the like. Anyways, that's a brief introduction to Worst Client. It's definitely a lot. I highly recommend that you guys check it all out. Take some time for yourself to see everything that this client has to offer, because, I mean, to be honest, that's not even all. Anyways, for right now though, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do of course hope to see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye!